Hey, yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, welcome back to another video, to another series, we're back for the next Pokemon LP, we are playing Pokemon Pearl, and damn, dude, I'm excited for this playthrough. We're just gonna jump right into this, so, right off the bat, I just wanna say, this is the, the sort of introduction episode, so, you know, every Pokemon in the game has that sort of first, like, 20 minutes where you're just getting used to it, so, honestly, if you guys wanna skip this episode, that's fine, because it is, like, gonna be the standard stuff, and what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna read all the text, um, throughout this episode, just to get, you know, get it, get, get the ball rolling, um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd get it off the bat. Hello! Hello there, it's very nice. Oh, I've, already, I've already messed up, we've had one text. Uh, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan, however everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. So yeah, I'm going to be reading all the texts and stuff this episode, just to sort of get the scene set. Um, so it's up to you whether you're really into, into that or not, or... Anyway, I just thought I'd point out. Uh, the world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button. Okay. Boop! And I believe it's a Munchlax. Yeah, it's a Munchlax. You get out. We humans. I didn't realize Munchlax was that small, actually. I thought it was a bit bigger. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use a Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Well, I mean, last time I checked, I was a boy, so we're gonna hurt and clip boy. I don't think anything's changed, although it has been a good few hours. Right. We're just gonna use, um. No, not. Whoa, 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 wrong thing, wrong thing. Um, back, back. We're gonna use the standard, which is Vamp, and not Desu. Because I believe that it was Pearl I got second hand when the save was called Vamp. It might have been Ruby, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. Um, I have the cursor to show on the bottom screen just so you can see what I'm clicking. I don't have it to show on the top screen, um, but when I'm not using it, I'm not going to have it on screen because I know some people don't like seeing the cursor. Okay, so you're Vamp. A fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. So I'm going to go with Clint just because these, these names all look like they suit him. But I think Clint's my favourite, um, and I couldn't think of anything better, so... No, I accidentally couldn't. No. So yeah, his name's Clint. We're going to call him Clint. Right. Alright Vamp, the time has come. Your very own tale of a grand adventure is about to unfold. On a journey you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. That is deep. Now go on, lead into the world Pokemon. So I'm probably more excited for this LP than I've ever been for any LP. Because I mean, I only really have my Pokemon LPs and then my Lonesome Road one I was just doing to sort of give myself some time to figure out where I was going with this, the, the channel and stuff. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly coloured Pokemon eluded section. The rumoured Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. And then, you know, Shadow of Mordor. I was excited for it, but I didn't really know what to expect. But this one, I'm super excited for it. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilee TV on the Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Not to say that I wasn't enjoy like looking forward to the Silver series, because I was, and I enjoyed it thoroughly throughout. I'm just looking forward to this one so much. Vamp, uh, Clint came calling for you a little while ago. I didn't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. I mean, you could have just like called up and been like, yo, Clint's here. But I guess not. So we're pretty slow at the moment. We don't actually have our running boots yet. Oh yes, Vamp, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so. Does she tell me that like every time I leave the house? Oh, hold on, um, I need to just change the renderer to OpenGL. Yeah, it defaults on soft rasterizer, but I get some texture glitches with that. Um, but OpenGL is a little bit better. Thud! Even though there's only one D, so I don't know why I say it three times. Uh, Clint, what was that about? Oh, hey, Vamp. Um, I'm going to the late. You come too and be quick about it. Okay, Vamp, I'm finding you a million poker dollars if you're late. Oh, geez, forgot something. Oh, snap. Okay, let's go ahead and see what he's forgotten then. So yeah, this this LP, I think it's pretty interesting, because I've done three Pokemon LPs so far, and I, I'd better take my bag and journal too. Oh hey, I'm going to the lake, I'll be waiting on the road, it's a $10 million find if you're late. Because the first one, obviously, Pokemon Red, I knew like exactly what I was doing, I knew when I was doing it, what was happening, at what point. And then with Silver, I was sort of looking things up as I went along, so I was always a bit ahead. Um, and I like planned out my teams like pr pretty precisely. But with this one, I'm just gonna, you know, roll with it. I'm not gonna do any look up any walkthroughs unless I get stuck. Um, hey, you saw that news report was on TV, right? You know, search for Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. 
That show got me thinking, I bet our local lake has Pokemon like it in it too. Yeah, but that was like a professional team of explorers and they couldn't even like see it, so... You know, I don't think we're gonna find anything, but okay. I'll bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Okay. Um, so we can't actually run yet. We do get the running shoes like relatively early on, but we don't have them yet. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. Uh, if I see a Pokemon that I wanna catch, I'll catch it. If I don't, then that's fine. Alright, to the lake, let's find us a red Gyarados. I'm just gonna play it. I don't even have a naming scheme for this one, just because I've not been watching anything recently. So I decided I'm just gonna like name things what I feel like I wanna name them. What's going on? Okay, Rowan and Dawn. Uh, Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. Um, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Uh, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Awesome. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm reading all this stuff. But, this is the introduction episode, you know, it's pretty standard for Pokemon. What was that about, those two? Vamp, let's go check this out. Oh shit, there's a motorcycle going past. I don't, think, I don't think that was too loud for you guys. No problem, no problem, we won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. You say that now. Just wait. It's a briefcase, those people have forgot it here, what are we supposed to do? We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say Professor. Oh snap, Starlies! Wow, po Pokemon, what's going on? So. I love all three of the starters in this gem, but I'm going to go ahead and pick Chimchar, just because he's my favourite. I want this one. The Chim Pokemon. Empoleon's really cool, because you can like basically just wreck your way through most of the game with Empoleon. Torterra's cool, because it's a freaking walking globe, dude. But, I'm using Chimchar, because Chimchar is awesome. I'm just going to just like straight up use Scratches here. I was thinking about using a layer, but I think I'm just going to use Scratches, honestly. It's gonna take three hits either way. So it would have taken like one layer and two scratches, but that was gonna take like um, three scratches. So either way, I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Unless, actually, this might kill. No, I didn't think so. Okay. I'll start to use Growl here. Yeah, you keep using Growl. Jim Charles' attack fell. Oh no. Okay, well, that's not dead. He did like nothing to us. Yeah, that's good with this game is that you fight like a wild Pokemon for the first fight, whereas in like so far our first fights have been against like our rivals. So the first fights, especially for red, our first if I recall correctly in our red playthrough, we got onto like one HP. Um Fwa hi your Chimchar totally rocks. My Piplop Piplop was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon though, but we had to use them, they won't mind, will they? And here's Dawn. Um oh, there's the briefcase. Uh, the Pokemon, Professor, the Professor, I can't even talk today. The Professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Oh shit, no, what the fuck are you doing? Did you use the Pokemon in there? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the Professor going to say? This is no good, I'll take the briefcase for now. See you later. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Vamp, let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Yeah, I did lose 4 HP. That's pretty serious stuff. This is kind of funny to me. Uh, you go ahead. I know we have to. I know we have to go return these Pokemon, but they're not ours. I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy, and then yeah, he comes like with us straight away. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. But like I said, I don't remember like anything. I remember so little about this game, even though I've played it like a ton of times. It's just been so freaking long. It's been like at least five, maybe even like six years since I've played it. Hey, it's those people. It's that old guy staring at us. Professor, hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Jim John Piplop. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Professor, please wait for me. 
I think you should visit our lab later, thank you. Um, but yeah, I remember the first 20 minutes just because I re already recorded this, but the game sound was too loud, so I'm like re recording it. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And he didn't want their Pokemon back. We should go home too. Yeah, we should. So we're gonna get. No, we don't get running boots yet, I don't think. I actually don't remember. No, I don't think we get them yet, actually. No, 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 I think we do get them. What's up, dear? Um, wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I glad that both you and Clint are unharmed? The professor mentioned was most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon and here he's also quite intimidating. I think you should see him in Sand Gem Town. Yeah, you need to probably explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll understand. Put these on, yeah, okay, we get them now, awesome. So I'm just going to skip through this, because it's pretty standard. The instructions on the side of the shoes. Press the B button to go fast. I know it doesn't actually say that. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yes, it is. So I'm glad we have these. It's going to be weird having, um, like, A and B. I'm not used to that. Because obviously I've been playing not ga not DS games. I've been playing, like, the Game Boy games for a while. Because I've played Glazed off camera. I've played Ruby off camera. Um, I obviously speed, ru speed ran Red for quite a while. Um, and then I let's played Red and Silver. So I'm, like, really used to uh, Game Boy controls. It's weird having like the extra buttons. I'm gonna run here. I do plan on catching a Starly actually, because I did do that at the end of the the first time I tried to record this. I caught a Starly. Uh, just because you know it's good for fly and Star Apt is actually a really cool Pokemon in my opinion. We're just gonna run with these dudes now. Okay. Nearly there. Awesome. So I'm not going to be talking to the people on the routes, for at least the first few routes, few routes, just because they say like the same boring stuff, like, oh, Pokemon appear in the grass, and oh, sometimes you find potions and shit. Oh, there you are, please come with me, the professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon research lab, let's go. Thud, yeah, you need to stop sprinting through doors. Clint, what the, oh, it's you, Vamp. That old guy, he's, so, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. That sentence... I might need to take a minute to, to just think about that sentence. Oh, it doesn't matter if I'm, I'm out of here. See you later. Peace out. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Yeah, I've known him for a long time. We go, like, really far back. It's been, like, ten minutes, and he is... He's always been like that, you know. Ten minutes of impatience. Professor, finally you've come. Let me see your Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty, then. Uh, I'll give you that Chimchar as a gift. Uh, now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, we're going to go with the standard, we're going to go with Desu. I've actually recently looked up what Desu actually means. Um, and it's like some weird anime. Like, oh, Japanese wannabes say it, and it's like, oh, I kind of don't like that, but I like the name, so I'm just going to stick with it. So, yeah, I, I don't know, it's kind of weird, because I don't want people seeing it and being like, oh, wow, look at this the weeb, <laughs> you know. Anime is good, and I have no problem with people watching anime. Some anime is, like, pretty good. I'm happy with that nickname. But I think some people take it too far, and the whole Desu thing is a bit weird. But I like the name, so fuck it, I'm going to call it Desu. Your friend Clint told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. That could be taken in a different way. Um, and from what I see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though. It's still very young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. I'm still glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. What? Put it down? <laughs> What was that even implying there? Uh, ahem, let's move on to the main topic. So this, he basically just says that he doesn't know any of the Pokemon in this region, so he gives us a Pokedex and we do research for him. Uh, Clint also has one and Dawn also has one. Oh, I said no back soon. I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man, let me ask you again. Bam. I accidentally clicked no. That's actually pretty funny. I clicked no and he just had a bunch of ellipses. Um, that Pokedex is very high tech device. Okay, I just want to skip through all this. Because what I'm doing is I'm holding A to get the text to scroll fast and then mashing B just so that it goes through it quickly. Oh wow, he's that old. He's lived 60 years. Um, the Pokemon I used for that first time was Turtwig. If you'd have chosen Turtwig over the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. So she has a Turtwig, which is going to be good for us because we can like super effective it. Although, obviously, Piplop can do the same to us. Um, so that's actually Dawn's dad. And that's some random woman. I don't remember what she even says, but neither of them give us anything. So let's go through this as well because she just tells us about um, the Poké Center and the Pokémon. Okay, we know all about this. We got this. 
So I'm going to buy five Pokeballs and probably two potions just in case. They might be useful later on, like in the first gym or something. Or if I'm like dying on a route. Uh, you may need to go far away. Heal up your Pokemon first. That's a lot scarier there. Okay. So we're going to ask the Pokeballs. If we go up, she just stops us and says that you should say goodbye to your mum. So we're going to go ahead and buy some Pokeballs and then we're just going to head back and talk to our mum. And then um, Clint's mum gives us a parcel to deliver. Okay, five Pokeballs just so we can catch some stuff. Um, for now, it's just going to be Starly, but maybe we'll get something else later on. Okay, and two potions. Two potions. An antidote may be useful, but for now I don't think it's too big of a deal. Okay, so now we're just gonna run back and say peace out to the girls that all miss me. Middle finger to the dudes back in high school. Cause you keep that 18 cool. Yeah, we're gonna gonna talk to our mom. Good time that. Anyway, <laughs> let's just let's carry on here. How are we doing? 15 minutes. Yeah, so we should definitely be able to do all the sort of boring intro stuff this episode which is good so next episode we can just like start on our way on our journey uh, welcome home vamp are you and your pokemon healthy take a quick quick rest dear although that's a thing just in case you got hurt on the journey back because dawn's like yo heal up at the center and then you go through like no grass and then she's like yo you should have a rest what's up vamp well wow, professor rowan asked you to do something that big okay dear go for it your mom's got you back oh i know vamp i've got something that you'll find useful yeah, she goes as a journal, which I never used as a kid, but based on my um, Pokemon Silver playthrough, the amount of times when I came back after like a week of not recording it, I came back and was just like, what is happening? That's probably going to be pretty useful, actually. Uh, I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking here. Yup, vamp. I'll be all right by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. Uh, when you're exposed to new things and new experience, when you experience new sensations, it makes you more happy, too. But come back sometimes, I would like to see what kind of Pokemon you caught it. I'll probably just like, when I get Fly, I'll just like come back every now and then. Although Fly, I usually get like, little late on. Oh, no he's not. Um, he must have left already. What, what do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. Too reckless. Uh, I at least wanted him to take this. That's a worry, Vamp. We'll deliver it to him. Won't you, Vamp? For show. Oh, really? You do that for me? Please take it. I like how it's a parcel as well, so it's like she was going to give it to him as a parcel instead of just giving him whatever it is. Bye bye, Vamp. Enjoy your adventure. Clint's mom, let me think. Knowing my boy, he'll probably head straight to Jubilife City. Um, oh shit, hold on. My internet just went off, so Kakao was telling me that I've been logged out. Uh, no, my boy, will probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Clint. Jubilife City, that's where the um, TV show thing is, isn't it? Okay, so we have a couple of minutes, so let me head up. Let me actually try and catch a Starly here, actually. No, if, if I come across one on the way, I'll try and catch it, but if I don't, I'll get it off camera. Is this it? Okay, please be level 3. It's only level 2. I'd rather just catch you level 3, probably make trading a little bit easier. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get one. I know if you're um, running, you're more likely to get encounters than if you're walking. Which I actually never knew until like a week ago. I don't, I don't, actually, I don't even remember where it was I found out. I think just someone said in a video. I don't even remember who it was. But someone was just like, maybe I should walk here so I don't get as many encounters. And I was like, wait, is that a thing? And then I looked it up and it was a thing. And I was like, whoa, all this time. I never knew that. Okay, so we should be able to get two scratches off without killing it. And then we can throw a Pokeball. It's got like a super high catch rate, I think, so hopefully we can get it in, in one Pokeball if we have it at low health. Tackle. Okay, I also like the bag system, like when you go in the bag and it gives you like the four different types of things. And then you just like chuck them. And then before you actually use it, you like get a description of what the item is, so you can just like have a quick look at it and be like, do I actually really want to use this? His health isn't even red, but hopefully we do catch him. Yeah, we got him. Okay, for this one we're gonna go with Koo. Just go. I like the name Koo. I don't know. It's not a bad name for a bird Pokemon as well. Yeah, so we wanna name it. If I do like think of a naming scheme later on, then maybe I'll just like go to the name rate or something. But for now, you know. Whoa, dude, that was a voice crack and a half. It's like you know, you know, we may as well just stick with this. I like Koo, and then Desu is obviously gonna be the same. We are going to heal up just because that has like, it's on a red bar. Um, I will probably, hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center, um, we restore your entire Pokemon's full health. Uh, why am I reading this? 
so yeah, um, I'm probably going to train that to like level 5 maybe off camera. Just a couple levels, okay. So I guess this is probably a good time to wrap it up here before we head on our way. Let's see if Dawn is still here actually. She is. Okay, let's see what she has to say. And then we'll probably wrap up after this. Um, oh, that's right. I haven't shown you how to catch Pokemon. Ah, oh, really? Okay, well, let's definitely do this then, because I don't want to start the next episode with something boring like this. A Bidoof. For those of you who don't know, Bidoof's actually one of my favourite Pokemon. I'm going to be doing a, my top 10 favourite Pokemon. Uh, well, actually, by the time this goes up, it'll, it'll be up, actually, because this is quite in the future. Wait, I just realised you showed me how to catch a Pokemon when I've literally already caught a Pokemon. Oh well. Am I really going to have to sit through this whole thing? Oh no, she's only going to hit it once. I was going to have to see her hit it twice. Okay. Just a bit of speed in there. <laughs> Giggle. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower the dog's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HD as low as possible. HD? Why did I just say HD twice? Um, this is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something. By using a Pokemon's move... Okay, but I actually completely forgot that that was a thing. Holy crap. I remember finding that I was a kid and was like, yo, that's amazing. And then whenever I was catching legendaries, I put them to sleep. I, I, I completely forgot that was a thing, that putting them to sleep makes it better. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friend long. Okay, that dude's driving past again. He keeps going, but it's like the fifth time he's gone past now. He just sort of goes up and down, it's super annoying. Okay, well, I guess it's time to wrap us up here, then. So, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will, um... Yeah, it's going to be we're getting used to the buttons, okay. No, what am I doing? Uh, I need this. So I'll train up um, Ku to level um, 5 after this episode. I think he just has like Tackle and Growl. No, not item. Summary. Um, yeah, he just has Tackle and Growl. So I'll train him up to level 5 so we're both our Pokemon will be level 5. But yeah, so um, that's about it, honestly. Thank you a ton for watching. Uh, um, I really appreciate the support. I'm hugely looking forward to this series. Um, to see where, the, where it goes. Especially with like just the way it's going to turn out. Just... You know, seeing what happens, seeing what comes of it, and, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys all look forward to it as, as much as I am. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Love to show your favourite, it helps me out a lot, and, um, feel free to check the playlist out in the description if you're watching this in the future, or subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and, um, yeah, I look forward to what's happening, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and peace off.